what is up everyone welcome back to another video on my youtube channel my name is diagon and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys on how to set up the epsxe emulator on windows basically what epsxe is um basically it's an emulator for the playstation 1 and yeah the playstation 1 has some really good games like final fantasy 8 crash bandicoot crash team racing spire the dragon that's just to name a few uh so yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to get it set up. So the first thing you do is you go to Google and type in. Hold on. So you type in EPSXE. Then you go to the official website. Then you go down over here to downloads. And over here, you're going to want to select the um, the version you want. So these right here are old P um, EPSXE versions this right here are the newer versions so like there's one for mac linux windows so i'd recommend downloading the windows one if you have windows if you have linux download the linux one uh, and so on and so forth so there we go the file downloads pretty fast it's only like a megabyte maybe even less i don't even know okay so now that it's downloaded what you do is you go into show in folder and then you click um and then you go on to the folder. Make sure you have WinRAR, by the way. Make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the files from the uh, the zip folder. So then, basically, you copy all of this, and then you drag it. What I Actually, first of all, what I recommend doing is uh, going onto your desktop and making, like, a folder where you put all your uh, EPSXE files. So I'm just going to name this uh, EPSXE folder uh, there you go and then then you can just put all the files into that um, folder but I already have everything set up so I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's pretty straightforward so then what you do is once you have it you go into uh, your um, EPSXE folder I already made mine and right here if you've extracted all the files you should have um, all these files over here. So then what you're going to need is the BIOS file. So what I'd recommend to get the BIOS file is search up PlayStation 1 BIOS files. And then a website should pop up for uh, BIOS files. PlayStation 1 BIOS, just search that up. There should be a website that, um, okay, yeah, there we go. It's called planetemu.net. This is the website. Um, this is probably the safest website to go on to. Um, I know it looks kind of sketchy, but trust me, I've already downloaded this file and it works. So select the one that you want. I'm going to choose the US version because I don't live in Europe. So click on that. And then you click on the Telecharger um, button, and it will download a zip file. I already have the zip file downloaded. So then what you're going to do is once you have the zip file downloaded, it's probably going to be your downloads folder. What you do is you bring it to where you put your um, files for the EPSXE emulator. So let me just find that real quick. Alright, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go into BIOS. And in the BIOS folder, you're going to have... Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Okay, yeah, so in the BIOS folder, right, you're gonna have this, uh, like, a BIOS file, but replace the BIOS file with, uh, this one. Uh, so, like, once you've downloaded this file, um, I'm just gonna download it, because it's probably gonna be easier. There you go, I downloaded it. So then what you're gonna do is there's gonna be this BIOS file, uh, in this folder, in the folder that you put all your files in, for like the PlayStation 1 emulator, uh, emulators, and you can succeed. All right, so in there is gonna be a file. I've already have the file, this one in here, but for you, obviously you guys don't. So what you're gonna do is once you've downloaded it, you go into Show in Folder, and then it's gonna be right here. So then you click on it, and then you just put it into your BIOS folder, in uh, where you put your PlayStation 1 files. So Pretty straightforward. 
then once you have all of that set up you go into your epsxe emulator you click on config and then you go on wizard guide and then once you and then what you do is you click on config and then you select the files that you need for the uh, emulator to work so you select this one next configuring the video me personally i use pete's open gl2 gpu core 2.0.0 because that is the one that's meant for the BIOS that we are using. So click on next. Next. Select the second option. And you can set up all your pads and stuff. Next. And boom, you're basically done. So uh, then you um, set up your controllers. You can set up your controllers through the config menu. To like the wizard guide. Or you can just do it through the gamepad. So you go into gamepads. Click on port 1 pad one and then if you have an actual dual shot controller you can uh you know do what you have to do um like you can set up your controls and stuff i'm playing on keyboard because i don't own a controller but you know you get the idea so then what you're going to do is you are going to go into video i think it is right so it's video and basically you can set up all your uh, settings here so uh me i have everything on pretty much high because my computer can run high by the way this emulator will basically run on any computer if your emulator um if your pc is not that good it will still run on it because it's a playstation 1 emulator and the playstation 1 is a very old console so keep that in mind so you yeah, have everything high. I'm actually going to put this to windowed mode so you guys can see the actual screen. So hold on, guys. Let me just quickly change it to that. Then what you do is you got to get yourself some ROMs. I'm not going to show you guys how to get ROMs in this video. I already have a video um, for that. I'm going to link it below in the description. But basically... Uh, what I'd recommend you do is when you get your ROMs, you put it in the ISO folder. This is where I have all my ROMs. So I have Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing. I actually have a video on Crash Team Racing um, where I played it. But I also have Gran Turismo 2, Final Fantasy 8, Spire the Dragon, and things like that. But the game I've been playing the most is Crash Bandicoot. So we're going to play that. Uh, open game list. Crash Bandicoot. hold on guys i need to oh and by the way in order to save your uh, game data you can't save it within the game what you actually have to do is you have to press config no not config run save state and then save it in whatever slot you want to that's how you save your stats uh, i'm not going to do that because i don't need to instead i'm going to load my stats so load state if you want to load up your uh, stats you click on load state slot one and as you can see this is my stats right here and yeah, it's running pretty smoothly, guys. So look at this. I just died, but you get the idea. Oh crap, I have one life left. This is not going well, guys. Alright, but yeah, as you can see, it's working really well. Uh, yeah, I just died. Anyways, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Also, make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video from me. That is it, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.